When is your little one ready to transition from two naps to one? What are the signs? How do you navigate this when they don't sleep at the ideal times? And how long will this transition take? I'll answer all of this for you in this video, so stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss our new releases like this one. Okay, the two to one nap transition can be complicated and it can be on and off for a number of weeks. So you need to be prepared. Firstly, it tends to happen somewhere between the broad range of 13 to 17 months. Some little ones show early signs with resisting one of their naps at 12 months, but this really is a bit too young to begin the transition. When they do show signs on the early side, it tends to be temporary and then they're back to their two naps again for a while. So resisting one of the naps does tend to be the first sign that your little one is preparing to drop to one nap. But if your child is not a great napper anyway, this is going to be hard to spot. Keep a close eye on your child for signs of tiredness, such as eye rubbing and yawning, clinginess and fractiousness. The last thing you want at this transition when this comes along is for your little one to be getting unnecessarily overtired. The two nap schedule should equate to around three hours of daytime sleep. So when you drop down to one nap, it's likely to be one long nap at first. It may be as long as three hours and then settle to a more regular two and a half hours. It sits best right in the middle of your little one's day with around five hours roughly of awake time either side. For example, a baby waking at 6 a.m. could nap from midday to 2.30 p.m. and then be asleep again for 7 p.m. Have you hit the two to one nap transition yet? How is it going for you? We'd love to hear in the comments below. Most little ones benefit from going to bed a little earlier when they're making the transition. And this helps to avoid any overtiredness as they adjust to managing the longer awake stretches during the day. This is especially helpful if your toddler isn't managing the full two plus hours of nap time that he or she really needs, or if they nod off a bit too early and the afternoon is too long. You have to take each day as it comes and equip yourself to navigate this transition. Sometimes you'll have a run of one nap days and then a few days when two naps are required again. And that's a totally normal part of this transition. Unlike the three to two nap transition, which can take a week or two, this transition might take four to six weeks to fully work through. The main thing to remember is that your little one might need to top up on sleep here and there as he or she makes this transition. And your aim is to avoid overtiredness. If you found this video helpful, you'll find more helpful tips in our free sleep guide. So check for the download link or drop us a message and get your copy today. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag TheSleepNanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.